Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be showing you basic over basic overview of what my H what my AHR HR layout's like. I don't have much time going to another Fire Explorer meeting soon. But this is just a fully overview video of what I've done with my layout. It'll go very in depth, it'll be like less than ten minutes. More than five minutes though. So first so first and foremost, every town that I do must have a railroad station. Here's the station. It's this old freight station I built a long time ago. We put the, my, I accidentally put the deck on the wrong side and me and my dad accidentally put it on the wrong side because it's supposed to be with the door. But that was years ago. Here, I have a tunnel. I have some of this. Just a little like maintenance yard slash recreation area. That would probably be the recreation area for people. Here, I don't know German the best. I'm learning it. What? Making a YouTube video. Okay. I gotta go in a minute. I think that means like one way street or something. Like it's a one way road. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking it's a one-way area, so like once you're going this way, it's a one-way bit going into the yard, and then this is the yard limit. That's a limit for the yard, where the yard is, where it's dark and such. Like here, there's a yard limit sign telling you this is one of the limits for the yard. The yard's property starts at this switch. It goes right here behind the fire station, around the fire station, up there. And I'll probably have to like put the pizza place, like almost like we moved the pizza place right there. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. Here you have the church, there's some people walking in at the church. You have the neighborhood, plus the cars that I put in. Here you have a nice farm, the barn, various pens. You have a tractor repair shed. I can show you this, this is the scrap pile. It's a bunch of broken HO things that I have. I'm just letting it sit there because I think it looks like a scrap pile. I didn't go in depth with the rail yard. Loading dock, a sand or ore loading dock, another ore loading dock, a lumber mill, a coal tower, some containers, another external switch. Or on that external switch, I used to have this firefighting tank car sitting on. And uh, yeah, that's the overview of the layout. Okay, now I'll show you the new types of rolling stock that I recently received like rolling stock wise, not HO train wise. Conrail GP15-1. I did a video with it, or video mostly about it in earlier on YouTube. I recommend checking that out, but it's fairly detailed. Detailed, it can run very slowly, very smoothly. The headlight works, works really nicely, but uh, yeah. And now, I mean, now my collection of locomotives for HO skill has increased to 30. So that's a lot of locomotives. Rolling stock wise, at Nank and Hobby, I bought an Amtrak Phase 4 Diner and an Amtrak Phase 3 um, large window uh, coach. These are them. Uh, set them here in the light. Uh, that's gonna fall. I'll set them like this. Get a better view of those things. See, that looks nice. Um, set those back down there. Received this yesterday in the mail. It's also, it's the same type of train car as Amtrak, but this is a Santa Fe. It's apparently a very highly detailed train car. See, this is the box down there. There's Walter's Proto on it. This way. Not enough. But it's highly detailed. The lights work on the inside. I have tested it. It's a very nice uh, train car there. But there's one infamous thing about this layout. No matter what I try to do, it is this exact switch track that will not stop derailing every passenger car that goes over. And no, this is not. Ah, uh, let me get something for reference. Here, I, I store them in here like sideways. It's not like. Oh, Aiden, it's gonna derail this thing. No, it does not derail this thing. The only passenger cars it seems to derail are the passenger cars of this length. That length or longer. And I've got it. I'll try to solve it. 
because eventually I will be making my layout out of this track. Not out of easy track, out of this track. It'll be more realistic. Except I would like the rails to be that color. Those yellowish rails don't look too great. Um, I am currently doing maintenance work on two locomotives. This, um, this one here, oh dang, I have the wheels up in my bedroom. But the wheels, there's a cracked gear. So I have the entire locomotive disassembled. There's a frame for it, it's an, it's, it's an 040 um, Union Pacific. Here's the tender, it's a lifelike. Um, also, I'm also gonna do some wire repair work with this Durango and Silverton locomotive. It's a Bachman, but I just, I think it was my fault I broke it. I accidentally snapped one of the wires. So, I mean, I've done a few things to make sure I know what wire goes where, like taping that, finding which wire is on the top of that thing, which one's on the bottom. It was, it was complicated, you know, to try to find out which wire went where, but I got that done. Uh, I also received these yesterday along with the passenger car. Mm, where's the last thing? Oh yeah, this magazine I got too. I gotta read that. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I should show you? Found this thing. I think it's a scale model of an old fire truck, which I should build. And then I'll have four fire trucks. Two of them will be old fashioned. One of them will be even older than the other old fashioned. Um, I, I believe that. I believe that's it for, yeah, yeah. Um, that's all. That's all I needed to update you guys on. I, I mean, I did kind of update my display area. I spaced out some of the locomotives a bit more. Up here, I put my Spirit of 76 locomotive, which doesn't work with its caboose. Um, move that. Put this train car behind there. I'm on my tippy toes holding the camera up. You can see it there. Let's see, but, uh... Yeah, that's that's um that's all for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and um, please subscribe too. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.